Okay, here I am playing League uh, against triple triple range merge. Uh, I guess is what it is. Um, and I mean, we'll see how it goes. I've been I haven't been playing Dominion. I don't know how Dominion works right now, so that's all. That's all exciting. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, I was trying to, I was trying to, like, do some amount of practice yesterday and just, I couldn't, couldn't do it. Um, alright, well. This board, I don't know, um, it's pretty weak looking. Uh, I don't actually think I'm going to spend this favor just because the things at five don't look particularly amazing. Um, it looks pretty weak, like there's not really draw here, there's distant shore somewhere down there which looks fine. Uh, Voyage even doesn't look particularly amazing. Uh, just because the the regular turns that you play it on aren't very spectacular. There's not trashing, so like you can't get into a crossroads deck. And there is sack of loot. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open desperation for sack of loot um, and just start pounding those in. I guess this could also be like scavenger, but like sack of loot pawn seems fine. Uh, and just start trying to get the loots in. I want a scavenger at some point. Uh, I might like open scavenger silver if I had the 4-3, but I don't, so I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, pawn seems fine, like card coin's not terrible in general, maybe. Um, yeah. We'll see what this is. Yeah, scavenger. That's kind of, I mean, it's what we expected, right? Uh, that's fine. I guess I could take, like, Caravan Guard Pawn, but I think I really just want scavenger now. I can also take like old map pawn. Old map's not the worst thing ever. Uh, in this deck. I'm trying to imagine what's coming up next, and I don't think it's actually that pretty. So let's do that. Yeah. Don't actually want another pawn. I don't know. I don't know. So you collided uh, your stuff right there, uh, which sure is good for you. Um, sure, why not? Whoops, undo that. <laughs> These uh, gang of pickpockets things are too confusing. That's, that's what we're seeing here. Um, I think I'd like to play Sack of Loot more, maybe. I think that's, like, the, the primary goal right now. I keep hitting 5, which is actually really annoying. I guess I'll get a second Scavenger. That doesn't seem like the worst thing ever. Uh, you get a second Sack of Loot, which looks pretty, pretty appealing. Um, I don't know, like, do I start buying Duchy? Do I buy Old Map Pawn? Something like that. I don't know. I sure would like a second sack of loot, which I guess I'll get here. Um... An acting troop could be nice, but mm, this might just be gold for you, to be honest. 
I might not even want the second sack of loot. I think I actually just want to start greeting, like, right now. Just start, like, taking curses for it, maybe. I don't know. Like, there's just so little to do here. Um... I have a scavenger in there, right? Yeah, that one. Um, I'm just gonna top deck the insignia, I guess. I could top deck sack. I'm just gonna start provincing. That seems good. Uh, this is more than mildly unfortunate. <laughs> Um, I mean, what? I'm gonna duchy, right? That's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, uh, do I just put the scavenger on top or do I put like a puzzle box? I guess I'll put the puzzle box. Doubloons is pretty decent. Took a voyage, which seems, I don't know, possibly productive. Oh, they're fawning. That's, that's why you took a voyage is because you had to. That's, that's really smart of me to have noticed that, like, not at the very start of the game. <sighs> We're doing amazingly here. <sighs> on, on the whole noticing things thing. Guess I have to decide whether I want to take a duchy or what. I just kind of ignored the trait. It was pretty interesting. Um, do I take a card action? I guess so. Alright, that was not the best idea I've ever had. Um, I guess I just want to stick like one of these big three things on top. Puzzle box, I guess, is the best of them. Uh, is desperation for duchy proper? I think so. Well, that's interesting. Let's see if we can't... Okay. The answer is yes, we can't. Um, doubloons, sure. Take that over. Desperation for province. Okay, I guess this time we're gonna spend the, spend the favor finally. At, at long last. Um, I mean, I should get another province here, one way or another, which I mean, I guess we're probably just going to take, uh, unless something weird happens on your turn, which I mean, it could happen, like you could potentially desperation for no, no I don't think so. Oh, that's... Irritating. Uh, so I'm probably looking at needing to, like, province duchy or something to not feel like I'm dying, which I guess I can do. Uh, cause what is this? This is a third, uh, so I can, like, desperation province duchy, and I think that's what we'll just do. Uh, what do we want on top? Puzzle box. That can top deck. So like if I desperation province duchy, you can potentially tie it by province duchying uh, without desperation, which I mean it seems unlikely. So I think we'll just go with it. 
Oh, I guess if you get an old map, you could rotate and fawning something. Ugh. Well, maybe I don't want to do this. Yeah, whatever. If I lose on the old map, I'll lose on the old map. Okay, I'm not I'm not losing on the old map is is what's not happening. So in that case I just win. <laughs> Hooray, I am able to just win. Sorry. You can resign. Okay. You resigned. That's fair. Alright. I won my start. It was a miracle. Now on to your start. <laughs> I mean, I think the uh, Gavinger Silver might have just been better, but I, I started greening first and I, you know, took, took the initiative and all. Uh, and maybe that was, maybe that was enough. Alright. What is this board bringing us? Um, it's bringing us cheap envoys. You can play like Envoy Delve and lose because, uh, the, the city quarter deck's just so much better. Um, I think. Oh, okay, we're gonna open Margrave. Apparently that's what's happening here. Um, well that kind of changes things for me, doesn't it? Like, I can open Envoy Transmogrify, maybe. Um, I'm a little bit less inclined to open Dungeon Transmogrify against the, uh, da -da -da Margrave. Which is otherwise what I'd be doing. Uh, just because the likelihood that I hit numbers at all if I do that. Well, no, I can transmogrify a state into Envoy. All right. Let's, let's do it this way. Uh, this is bad. Like, like part of the plan to, uh, about like opening dungeon transmogrify, right, is that you're going to be able to play at least one of them turn three. Uh, and you're especially not going to see both of them turn four at the point that you get Margraved. So, uh, this is, this is bad. Yeah. Gotta say. Oh, apparently we're just going to be buying more Margraves. That's, that's good. Um, what do I want to do here? I guess we're just going to play both of them. Um... And we'll hope to somehow, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I mean, next, next turn I'm surely transmogrifying an estate into Envoy. Just because I have to produce draw somehow. Um, but, uh. <laughs> Like, oh man. Okay, dungeon silver. Please don't see the dungeon. Okay, good. We're we're like we're like doing not terribly. I possibly should have grabbed a um. What's it's there? The city quarter. But I think I wanna, I, I wanna transmogrify this into Envoy. Uh, and then, I don't know, buy Margrave in a perfect world. Um, this is just gonna be gross to, to overcome, but so it goes. Uh, okay. That goes to Envoy. Oh, I should have put both, uh, coppers in. That was actually really dumb. Okay, what do I need to do now? Um, I could pop in the city quarter. I could, like, grab Delve. I guess I could also grab another Transmogrify. Like, what's that going to do for me? I could Transmogrify into something into Gondola. All right, let's, let's do that. I mean, I'm gonna get Margraved every turn, so... Oh, I'm not getting Margraved this turn, so that's good. Uh, I would have really liked to have seen, um... something or other. 
It's all right. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting over it. I'm getting over it. All right. This is going to be gondola to play that. And hopefully we'll actually be able to transmogrify something into, um, maybe I do it like this, uh, something into, uh, Margrave this next turn. Or alternatively, use both of those and manage to play a gondola, or play the play the envoy villagey whatever. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go this to whatever. This to Gondola, Gondola will play Envoy. You'll deny the dungeon, surely. Yep. Do one of these now, one of these later, and take Margrave. At long last, I have a Margrave. And I guess I'm just gonna get a second one. I don't know. Maybe I just get the city quarter like right now. That's also a possibility. Um, like I feel like you have to build this ugliness. It's just ugh, ugly. I mean, the problem with getting a city quarter right now is I'm potentially triggering a shuffle next turn that's going to have, like, no actions in it. Um, that's a real possibility. Um, but, I mean, it has to happen sometime, right? So maybe we just do it now. Pump this up. Grab city quarter. This is not nice to see. Uh, well, we have had a lot of actions in there, I guess. Let's see. I really do want to play Margrave. That's that's definitely a that's definitely a thing that wants to happen this turn. Uh, I'll just hope that it doesn't draw the draw the CQ. It's unlikely, but possible. I guess the other thing I might have done is uh, not done the CQ or or n not triggered the shuffle and tried to get another city quarter in it, but I think I think I need to be playing Margrave. Um, We okay, I didn't die. Um, yeah, so this is just going to be another city quarter. My next kind of turn goals are to just get a ton of those. Uh, I might go gondola to Margrave, I might go gondola to Sacred Grove here. Uh, certainly I'm going gondola to something that's an action. I think I'm going to prior. I mean, I have to prioritize Let's Play Margrave this turn, right? Yeah. Um, Envoy. There's actually, like, nothing you can deny that's reasonable to deny here, which is amazing. Look at me. I'm drawing deck. Okay, do I want another city quarter here, or do I just want, like, a silver? I can also next turn the gondola. Um, like, I think I just probably want another city quarter, of all things. I guess I could go, like, delve city quarter. How much money am I producing next turn? Nine. 
And I kind of really like a Sacred Grove, right? Um, so maybe I go like Delve City Quarter. I'm not really expecting to be, like, at all consistent early on. The main thing is just, like, let's keep playing Margrave. Right. Oh, I want to undo that discard. Uh, because I want to transmogrify the silver into a gondola. Probably. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I really want to play dungeon, right? Look at this consistency. That's just amazing. Like, like this turn should not have gone. This turn really should not have gone. Um, and yet it is. Uh, gosh. I don't know whether to next turn this one or, well, let's pay off the aid debt and then let's contemplate what I'm going to do. I think I just go like Delve City Quarter again. Uh, I don't really want to take another dungeon, but it would be good to get the estate out, I think. I guess I could go for another envoy also. Not the worst thing. I mean, it has to be an action card is part of why I'm a little bit limited here. Um, but that's fine. Right. What I really want, like, to do soon is start getting Sacred Groves. Or potentially Bishop is also a real possibility. Um, so yeah, let's just go this to... Envoy, I think. Had enough city quarters down there to not, like, go worrying. So yeah, I think next turn what I want to do really is I want to pick up um, a start of turn bishop. Uh... Because I have what? I have enough here to just buy Sacred Grove straight out. Sacred Grove City Quarter. Um, and then this turn I want to pick up a bishop here at the start of turn. Start thinning out a bit. Um, I guess I'm going to get Margrave multiple times probably, so it doesn't matter that. Oh, nope. That, uh, oh, I should have done the bishop first so I could keep these things. Well, whatever. Hopefully I'll get over it. That next. Yeah, that wasn't the greatest. I'll live. I'm actually expecting a resign somewhat soon, uh, to be perfectly honest.
could go like Grove City Quarter. Uh, I mean, I think that's just the best thing to do. I don't think anything's low enough to worry that much about, so. I gotta be keeping a car, silver. That was just really bad to not do that. All right, you you kicked off this turn. I mean, there was a lot of help, right? A lot of help. I could consider turning this Margrave into a grove. I don't actually really want to be doing many Margrave attacks, right? So I'm going to turn the Margrave into a grove. This time we're going to do this right. We're going to turn the Margrave into a grove first. Um, let's go Margrave to grove. And then dungeon. There we go. Silver's fine, really. Extra card, fine. Sun's gift, fine. Nothing really spectacular there. Five, it's Bishop of Copper. I mean, I think I want to start buying provinces. I don't actually know how much money I have. It's a lot. <laughs> uh, what is this? 12? So I can actually next turn this, right? I guess I could delve. Like, I have enough draw, right? Maybe? I mean, I have the transmogrify down, so surely I have enough draw. So let's just go like Delve, Bishop, Province. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> I don't actually know that I have the actions to support all of it, but... We'll see. Whoa. There's a lot of city quarter and margraving. Uh, I don't know whether to lose a city quarter or lose the envoy. I think the answer is lose a city quarter. Um, so let's do like that. We'll really hope that the dungeon doesn't pick up more city quarters. Ugh, bless it. I have two envoys. Let's let's lose the envoy. Like, I don't know. This was this was actually really bad to see so much draw at the at the front. Um, Like if I if I see two city quarters here with the dungeon, I'd lose. Okay, that is good. To not have seen that, but we're still at a pretty strong risk of a dud, which doesn't happen. Seeing the draw early is real, real bad. Um so this is this is a mostly a dud. Um uh, I could shuffle around here. I don't think it's actually particularly amazing to do so. 
uh, just acknowledging like that if I do and get Margrave attacked continually again, I'm in a pretty bad spot. On the other hand, yeah. I mean, there's there's draw in there, right? Like I ditched a city quarter into there, so it's not the worst thing ever. Why would you not take this? Uh, no. I'll just lose a copper. Call it a day. Double province. I don't, like, you didn't improve payload at all last turn, right? You can produce 20. Uh, so I think double province is something that I can reasonably do. Um, do I ditch copper, ditch gondola? I guess I ditch copper. Next turn that. It's just double province. I could province double duchy if I'm feeling conservative, but... Like, what can you do that... I guess you could turn Margrave into Grove. All right, let's do two duchies. Just be safe. I mean, there's also the chance that you just total dud, just because you don't really have consistency measures out other than the transmogrifies. Uh, I guess you could also, like, go for it and transmogrify two provinces if that's something that you have in hand somehow. We'll see. This hand looks scary, but I don't think it is because there's another because there's an envoy in there. And two transmogrifies down. I mean this this bishop can turn into an envoy or whatever, Margrave. Okay. Let's see if you get another consistency measure out. Or what? Exactly happens. Like the dun the dungeon coming first is is not a good sign for you. It's it's really not. I don't want to trash. Like, in a perfect world, I'm going to transmogrify province twice. I can look at what the dungeon brings first, but... Do I just go? I guess I don't have to just go. Like, I can... Do one of them? Right, I had... I had 18 last turn on a dud, so let's go like that, and maybe bishop to uh, dungeon. I could also go province to gondola. Um, that one's a little bit scary. We'll just go province to province. Okay. All right. We won't die, so I've I've won. Um, at this point, we'll try not to play the Margrave. Uh, I guess I have to. I mean, I'll have to play something that you interact with, right? Just because I need the buy. I could have gone either way on it, I guess. Um, well, I overcame the Margrave opening. That was pretty cool. Maybe I just like went city quarters quicker, and that was what it was. I don't really know. Um, all right, what do we have here? 
we have opening rays abundance, I guess. Um, we're going to want basically all of the C charts and all of the peddlers. And the way to do that is to get plus buy both in merchant guild and abundance form. Um, I don't think there's that much here. Like, you don't really want war chest, right? You just want, yeah. Abundance. Like, getting a raised C chart or C chart C chart early is really good, and that's why I'm opening abundance. And I mean, eventually, peddler's not the worst thing either, right? Oh, that's going to be an interesting next turn. I guess I could be able to grab a poacher, but maybe I just take a raise here and then like double C chart next turn. Or C chart abundance, even. Let's do this. And then I guess I'm going to take C chart abundance, actually. I guess I could also consider like raise merchant guild. But. Mm. Torn, torn. Let's do another abundance. And I mean, I do want to thin out coppers, so this is like fine, I think. I don't know, maybe I just double C chart here. This seems to be going fine-ish. This will be raised C chart for you. Surely. I really like to find an abundance. Yeah, I like that. Peddler, C chart. Somehow I do want Merchant Guild, I guess, probably. Mm -hmm. Seems likely that I'll want Merchant Guild. <laughs> this will be Peddler Merchant Guild for you. I don't know, this game's really like, there's so little to it. Um, I guess I want to blow this up, uh, if anything, to get both of these. Um, I could do, like, Sage Merchant Guild. I don't actually really want to spend the abundances right here, so maybe I'll just, like, transport a peddler or something like that. Weird. Um, I'd rather use the plus buy when I can actually get peddlers out of them. Oh, look at your deck work. I really hope you didn't find your merchant guild and an abundance. That would be pretty devastating. Not really devastating, but, like, bad. Uh, it's, it's bad. Okay. We're, we're opting for bad. No abundance though, so that's that's a positive at least. Um, this really should just be two peddlers, I think. You could go peddler abundance potentially. Maybe sage is okay.
Yeah. Um, I guess I want to draw out with these just because there's so many of them. Like, I'm not going to be able to avoid going into this shuffle, right? Something like that. <sighs> this game's not going well. I'm gonna say it. Because <laughs> it's not. <sighs> oh, you didn't get to the Merchant Guild. Hooray. Uh, piles are getting low. Should at least consider province this turn. I should. You maybe also will. I mean, we're only at like four games, right? So it's not that threatening, but. Find something. Please keep finding things. Ugh. <sighs> Maybe I just take the province. So obnoxious. Not finding Merchant Guild. I mean, it'll probably let you get the last two peddlers, like, Almost certainly. And you have the Merchant Guild, so... I'm feeling like I'm, I'm pretty toast at this point. <laughs> like, like, so much of the game is just tied up and do your C charts work and... Oh gosh. Well, I guess mine have been working, they've just been bottom decking too, which is, you know, not really productive. Um, Peddler, Province, Peddler. I really wish people would do that. It's nothing in particular, it's just like... Um, it's just like these little play order things that it's like, it makes no sense for you to do this. <laughs> All right, um, I guess I'm going to grab Sage, like Sage Province. It could even be another Sage, it could be another Abundance. Um, I don't know, Raise is... Raise would open up a tie for you, which, like, I think I can live with. Raise Sage here. Um, like, if, like, if you choose to tie this game from here, I think I'm actually pretty thrilled with it. Uh, I guess I probably plausibly also need to just, like, pick up an estate in case you double province. Because I don't think I'll be able to beat that, because what I have... Everything goes perfectly. I have 5, 10, 16 exactly. Wait. I had 13 this turn. What is going on? Oh, I picked up the Sage, so... I have 16 except it's 17, so I actually do need the Estate. In case you, in case you double, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to beat it, or even threaten to beat it. I'm not going to be able to beat it anyways, right? Just because like my deck's going to fail. But um, in a in a theoretical perfect world where my deck doesn't fail, which it's totally going to do, um, I can beat it. Like, like I, I, I promise you, my, my deck is going to fail. <laughs> I'm 
but this was necessary because otherwise you could have poor house double provinced and I would have been just done. I guess it could have been the raise, actually, because I have the coffers. Eh, whatever. I'm going to ignore any of that and just deal with the fact that I bought an estate. And I think it might have been the right move, but I'm not sure. Like, offering the tie wouldn't have been the worst thing. But... I think I think I'm also asking a lot if I don't take the estate. Right. Whatever. This game went poorly, those two turns that like I top decked all my coppers. That was that was not good. Um that was really not good. <laughs> I guess, if anything, the estate made it so that I could deal with only double provincing, potentially. It should at least prevent you from doubling. Um, Alright, so now you have to score, because otherwise I could just empty raise right on you. They might see, like, Province Double Sage or something like that. That would be my guess. One Province works for you, I think. And then Double Sage is what I'm expecting. It might be a Duchy also, but I don't know. I don't think you really need the duchy to keep things out of reach, like... I mean, you're also, like, somewhat susceptible to dudding? Maybe? Probably not? Eh. Okay, it is a duchy. So... Like, the thing is, is that there's a lot of ways for you to double province. Um, and I mean, there's a lot of ways for me to completely miss everything. Um, so I'm really contemplating just taking a duchy here. Um, I could also poor house double duchy. Uh... I mean, I could also just take a province here, right? Like, say, come, come double. <laughs> what do we say, though? I don't actually have the money to do that. So, like, if I take a duchy and you come back in province, I'm within range. So, like, I'm kind of counting on you super dudding somehow anyways. But if you do super dud, like, you're not going to take a province. And then you're probably not super dudding the next turn. So I guess what I want to do is take, like, raise double duchy? That would put it within range, but, like, if you have a full turn, I can't really win anyways. Right? So... If I raise double duchy, that leaves me with two coppers. I think we can live with that. Or I could just province, right? Say you're gonna single province. Like, like if you double province from here and I don't, and I double duchy, if you double province, I'm still toast. So let's take the province and call it, and we'll see what happens. I also have to somehow draw back around to those abundances, which is <laughs> yeah, yeah. totally not happening. Um, I 
Oh, that was definitely a thing that could happen, but oh well. Well, I had to take something. I needed to not draw the five coppers two turns in a row. That's what really needed to not happen. That's what I'm saying. Alright, uh, what's happening here? Groom stuff. Um, there's some questions about opening. I guess whether it's maroon or groom. But I don't think it's actually really a question. We're opening border guard groom. Right. Maybe lighthouse groom, but. You can just deal with the sea witch stuff if your opponent actually does it. This is gonna be a really weird game. Um, it's gonna be really groom focused. Uh, just because that's like also the only source of plus VP. Oh, there's also fortune down here, so there might be some, some things to do there, but. Um, I guess actually we're gonna open groom gear instead of groom border guard. Right? Yeah, no, no. Because, like, if we open Groom Gear and we see them both turn four, we're really unhappy. So I think I'm actually okay with opening Border Guard, especially since I'm, like, good with hitting two. Um, yeah, I would have been happier with, with, uh, what's it, but that's alright. So here I'm gonna grab a Maroon, I think. We'll go, like, Maroon Swamp Shacks or something. Not sure exactly. Um, like my target by this turn costs too. It's it's monastery. I guess I'll go like monastery groom here. Pick up uh, another border guard next turn maybe. The other thing we have to make sure is that we get enough Swamp Shacks, but I don't really want to be taking them too early. Um, I'm hitting 5 next turn. That's an interesting thing to contemplate. So maybe I'm taking Swamp Shacks now and just grabbing another Border Guard, given that I'm buying Sea Witch next turn. Let's do it this way. I mean, at some point I do want a monastery, but not quite time yet. Consider grooming a lighthouse. Okay. So I'm going to groom... Well, I guess I actually want to groom another Swamp Shacks, just considering what's going to go into this shuffle after I play the Sea Witch. Yeah. And then we'll grab a Monastery at some point. I don't think I really have to be that concerned about blocking uh, Sea Witches. Um, if, I, if I'm drawing, the, the Curses should be super easy to deal with. Once I get starting start getting trashed down. We'll see. That might be a little bit more dreamy than is appropriate, but hmm. we'll see. <laughs> Um, so I should, I'm at least seriously contemplating picking up the monastery right now. Um, I think I will.
just because this next turn is looking pretty okay. And I mean, I think that's better than Maroon. Okay, this is not the most amazing thing to ever happen to me, but that's all right. Uh, on top of deck sounds pretty good. Uh, we did manage to draw the Monastery, which is amazing. Um, I could grab a Lighthouse here. Again, I just don't know that blocking is that important. Like... I do want another groom at some point. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do a border guard. As I said, I, I, I'm just not convinced that blocking is that important. <sighs> as weird as it sounds. Um this should be swamp shacks and yes. This should be horse. Ugh. Did I just grab another Swamp Shacks? Probably. Like, at some point we'll be able to get all the grooms we want. We just need, need to take the villages now. That was a bad turn. Or, maybe not, like, Bad, bad, but not good. Not as good as I would want. Um, all things considered. We'll hope this one goes better. I'm not that... Uh, I'm not that uh, optimistic, though, just because like I didn't get to play Groom last turn, which hurts, and I didn't get to play Monastery, which hurts, and I didn't get to play Sea Witch, which really hurts. All three of those things really hurt this tur next turn. Um, so that went from me feeling like I was doing really well and actually quite ahead to now I'm feeling pretty dang bad about my position, just off of that switch. Um, which, we'll see. Um, like this turn, if I had gotten to do all those things this turn, I would have been able to get like two or three grooms, probably. Um, I expect this just to be the uh, fifth Swamp Shacks. There's really no way you want to do without, with a fewer of those in this game. But we'll see. Yeah. Uh, gosh. Well, I mean, they're drawing at least one, so. I'm not going to complain too much. There's no way I don't want to play this Sea Witch right here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's probably going to draw two no matter what, just because I've seen the last border guard. Okay. Um, I'm going to groom a groom into here. I'm going to otter that. Uh, will the Swamp Shacks draw around? The answer is, I think so. Okay. Not getting any more done, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna groom this, uh, Swamp Shacks. And uh, what am I buying? Gold? I mean, we can groom Gladiator, right? I have one extra terminal. I think I'm just going to buy gold. Actually, we have more than one extra terminal because we can groom Gondola. Yeah. 
Let's let's do the gold. Anyways. Okay, I'm back to being fairly pleased with where I'm at, I think. Okay, now I'm extremely pleased with where I'm at. Um, this doesn't matter so much. Uh, uh, we also need to note curse is going down. Okay, so I groom a gondola, I groom a groom, and groom a gladiator. I don't know if those are particularly good, but... Eh. So we're going to go gondola, groom. Um, gladiator? Am I really taking it? I could get another groom also. It's probably the most more productive move. Um, do I want gladiator even? I mean, I don't really need the control, right? So it seems possible that just getting like two more grooms and buying a province is the most productive thing I can do. Uh, something like this maybe. And I mean, I'm probably fine trashing both coppers. Maybe not. Let's keep one copper around. I mean, I'm certainly feeling pretty good right now. I don't know that I'll have like an end here, but I think we're relatively close. Or I'm in at least significantly better position than you are. Yeah. Yeah, gear gear was not I d I don't I think it was mostly just the, the, the gear versus border guard at the start. Like you just don't have the, the terminal space and then I don't know, wasting buys on lighthouse maybe. Uh this looks like a really bad two five. Um, this is like a devastatingly bad 2-5. Like, I mean, you're gonna open the same thing, we're gonna open the Sentinel Silver or whatever, but mine is gonna come with a, come with a minus coin token. Um, long term, there's actually not a whole lot to do here, it's like, you just have to pound Barbarian Rogue? Um, maybe you just pound Rogue instead of Barbarian, like, mm. Well, do I want the estate? I'm almost going to say the answer is yes, I do want the estate, because at some point our draw is Seer, and Seer will see the estate. I mean, the idea we're, we're plan is mostly to trash Hovel before then, but in the case that we don't... Yeah, okay, we want the estate. Highway. Oh, there's ball highway. Well, I could at least consider it, but I really think I'm just really favoring that. Plus a warehouse. I mean, maybe things will work out and you'll hit five with the highway right away, but I don't think so. Just do this. Necropolis is not really amazing. Uh, 
And I mean, I'm hitting five here, which maybe at this point I do just take the highway. We don't really want to play this warehouse, I don't think. Um, and yeah, I sure would like to ball for, ball for Sears. I mean, you're looking at four coins right now, so this could easily be Seer. And we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully you didn't find Sentinel. That would be kind of good. Okay, that, that was not amazing to have happen. Uh, so things are looking really, really bad right now. Um, there's a possibility that I reach five here off this highway and I'm going to like ball for double C or something like that and be happy, but it's, it's not, okay, well, we'll live with this, certainly. Um, do I take the seer? A real question, I could grab like rogue instead. Like at this point, just because, um... Yeah, like like I don't actually really need to be drawing yet. Let's do that. Like like the seer is not going to make my turns better right now, or it's not going to make that tur this turn better. I'll hit five no matter what. So if I want to, I mean I'll I'll hit five no matter what. So. I guess there's a possibility that like I don't get to draw with this set draw copper with the sentinel. That's that's a thing that can go wrong. Uh but <laughs> how could that happen? <laughs> right. Okay, we hit the expected five, and this time it will be a seer. Um, man, I really hope you didn't find a draw card. Okay, that would have been that would have been unacceptable, really. Um, well, I'm gonna ball for seer highway, probably. Um, I guess it could also be Carriage Seer or Carriage Highway. Next turn's really... No, next turn has the Warehouse. So it's probably mostly fine. Um, Carriage Seer or Carriage Highway. I'm gonna go Carriage Seer. I'm not the most confident in that, certainly. Do you still have your necropolis around? Yeah. That stinks. I mean, there there was nothing else for me to do with mine. It, it had to get trashed right there. Oh gosh, at some point if the game stays relatively close. Um, we have a thing where... Uh, we'll have to just like carriage rogues like a good billion times to get provinces. Because uh, cause highway rogue is a like mild interaction. I guess highway ball is probably just out classing, but it's alright. Yeah, we'll see when we get there. I've won three games. I'm happy. 
I don't, I don't, I don't have really high standards. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm good with it. I'm good with the three games thing. Okay, you do trash your necropolis. So this is going to be ball for carriage, carriage plausibly. It could also be carriage seer, carriage highway. I'm guessing carriage, carriage though. Um, or at least that's what I think I'd do in your position. Was double carriage. I mean, I guess you also might not have the most fun time, like, trying to execute that particular one, but... Yeah. Okay. We get to trash a copper. That's not that exciting. Uh, I think I'm just picking up another silver here. That seems better than any alternatives. Um... And then I guess we'll, we'll see. Um, maybe you bottom decked everything. No, no, you didn't bottom deck everything. <laughs> you have a seer to retrieve, but I guess you're probably going to carriage, uh, the rogue. This is what's going to happen. Yeah, and you're going to flip two coppers because my deck sucks. <laughs> That, that, that's why that happened, by the way. It's, it's purely because my deck sucks. <laughs> you, you, you just didn't take into account how badly my deck sucks. Uh, a real short-sightedness. <laughs> I don't think you could have done better, but, like, you probably needed this to hit five, but eh, maybe not. So right now, I think I just want, like, every single carriage imaginable, and I'd also like to play Sentinel. Uh, so I probably only get to play Rogue once. Innovation? Are you kidding me? Two carriages is so much better than Innovation. Man. Okay, uh, I get to trash some stuff, that's cool. Uh, I sure would like that copper. We'll attack. Awesome. Alright, we're balling for two carriages, I think. Could be carriage highway also. Um... Yeah, let's, let's do carriage highway. Uh, like, I, I really want to be able to make sure that I play highway early enough in the turn. Just to get my, get my seers working. Innovation. I mean, it's probably okay. But, but just like one carriage gets you so many more action plays than innovation, doesn't it? I don't know that it's gonna like, it's a bad enough mistake to make me, you know, lose, but. <sighs> or to, to make me win, but like. It, it sure doesn't seem like, it does seem like you should be grabbing, um, and then that silver does virtually nothing. Cause like, I'm gonna play a highway first. Innovation. So yeah, I mean, from now on, I'm just taking carriage, 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 carriage. Um, I 
Okay, this should be highway carriage, maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, that gets called for sure. Um, I guess we'll do the double rogue thing. Uh, another highway doesn't help that much, but it does help a little bit, so I guess we'll do it. Also because I want to um, trash some copper, and I need to hit five. And this is just going to be carriages. That highway did, like, next to nothing. Okay, it didn't, it didn't do next to nothing. It did, like, absolutely nothing to steal that highway. It may have even been, like, anti-productive. Hard to say. I could be in some pretty bad shape also if I, uh, if I don't manage to get another seer. Um, I guess this is what innovation does, is it allows you to play your rogue non-terminally sometimes. Um, there could also be a really devastating hit if somebody hits a rogue. Uh, how many do you have down? You still have one carriage down. I mean, I can't, like, keep giving up carriages, right? But I kind of need the seer. Well, no, I don't really need the seer, right? We'll have highways to... okay. We'll see. As I say, this, this game hasn't been feeling the most amazing. <laughs> Like, like getting the highway on the last turn and then you not getting a highway, you instead getting like actually good things, uh, was, was really bad. Gotta say. Um. I can't call on highway because then my rogue won't be able to do anything. So I have to call on warehouse. Or I can just call on Rogue a billion times. Also a possibility. What is that card? That's a silver. So I guess we're just going to call on Rogue a billion times, because... Like... Okay, I may have actually wiped out all your highways, which is pretty good. Um, I guess you'll be able to rogue for one, so that's actually not that big a deal, but... Uh, so I probably need, like, seer carriage here. We're feeling a little bit threatened by the uh, possibility of losing rogue, uh, but you're going to have a pretty tough time drawing without any highways. So, or like you'll be able to draw, but also you won't be able to. I don't know, you have four seers right now, so there's still one in hand. You can draw the rogue off a carriage, get rogue the highway, and get everything. All right. Although you can't do that and carriage the rogue a bunch of times. So actually, I guess I did push... Uh, pretty hard there. Why are you not drawing the rogue? I guess you have to call again, okay. Okay, so you did you did manage to get everything in the end. Um, and you're gonna be able to play a highway and rogue a couple times. So it all it all ended up working out. 
and I had to, you know, grab freaking seers instead of freaking <sighs> carriages. Like I had, to, I had to gain. Whoa! Why did you not play the highway? Well, I'll happily lose the sentinel. That was a weird turn. I don't know why you didn't play the highway. That's just like mind boggling. So weird. Okay, uh, I lose the highway for another warehouse. I mean, I'll get the highway back. Um, I guess I'm gonna stop because warehouse is fine. Um, We have a highway out, so this is going to do things. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, I could ball for provinces right here. I don't know that it's the best move over like balling for carriages. Maybe you just do it because, like, it's here. Like, I don't think I'll have any trouble drawing. Man, losing the rogue would be so bad. I'm, I'm actually pretty tempted to take another rogue just as insurance. Let's take another rogue and a carriage. Like, the game's not that actually that close to ending, right? And you don't have the highways to be taking provinces. The main thing that could, like, completely destroy me right now is losing a rogue. So let's, let's not do that. I just want the insurance. Really. And I mean, that's, that's, that's right here. That's, that's the insurance. It's, it's sitting in my, there's one sitting in my hand. Um, okay, Barbarian, which you should probably not be playing. Oh, okay. Well, warehouses. I mean, are you going to, like, do the Barbarian a bunch? No, you surely you should be doing the Rogue a bunch. More warehouses. Nope, you're doing the Barbarian a bunch for some reason. I guess you can do, like, some of each. That's a, that's a thing that can happen here. Um, so you get a highway, you get a seer. I'm going to have a lot of warehouses. <laughs> All the better to house my wares with. Now that hurts. That hurts. Losing carriages. I guess I'll be able to get it back. It's not the end of the world. Um, this is extremely bad. 
uh, because I'm going to have to call a carriage on this and my rogues go ineffective at that point. So I think it's possible that I actually just stop here and uh, rogue a bunch of times. Uh, I sure would like another carriage. Um, and I can like ball for Sears or something. Yeah. So my main problem right now is that I could lose rogue, both my rogues, and then I'd lose the game consequently, uh, which would be bad. I, I would I would definitely not like that course of events, but we'll see. Would, would not be a fan. Not a fan. Lose a seer, that's what we got two last turn. Lose a highway, probably. Yeah, we can carriage them, it's fine. I guess you're going to ball for provinces right here. Which means I should at least consider bringing them into range rather than trying to wipe out action cards. But, like, if I can get, hit your rogue, I'm, uh, I, I just win, so... That's that's the other kind of consideration. Um, oh, I guess I could have ditched the second rogue. Well, no, because because I'm trying to basically get the win condition of I hit your rogue and therefore I win. Right. Like like that's a that's a real possibility if you don't get a second one. It's maybe not the, like, I don't know, likeliest win condition, but I'd like to keep it open as, as something that can happen. Um, I mean, I guess that would mean that you just, like, carriage, what's it, whatever, a bunch of times, and then, I don't know. I mean that you carriage barbarian a bunch of times, but um, I'm gonna play this first. Okay, that did not work. Okay, we grabbed a highway, so I should be able to draw everything here. Uh, that needed to be drawn, which was that much. So I want to at least consider uh, the possibility of what do you do? You trash the Barbarian. Do I really want the Barbarian, or would I rather be... Um, ...carriaging another highway, which I have to do in order to ball provinces? Well, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the Barbarian because I have the second Rogue. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, shoot. Let's put a warehouse on top. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to put a warehouse on top. Okay. 
now. I guess I don't get the Barbarian back, but I'm just going to take two provinces now. And this is, like, fine-ish. Probably. I'm a little bit low on Sears, I guess, is the, is the primary concern. Um... Surely you want to road before you drop it below barbarian territory. Yeah. That's, that's what I thought. I am losing all of my seers. That is really bad. But also okay, because I guess you've stopped... No, you didn't. Okay. Well, we're losing highway overseer. I can't afford to lose more seers. I can't really afford to have them being discarded either, but yeah, we're we're going to have to live with that for the moment. <laughs> like you ball provinces here. So basically, I'm going to have to get a province is what, how I'm seeing it. Uh, nab one, that is. Um, this is actually not how this should go. This should go... No, I think this is how this should go. Um, like this? Okay, that is a seer. So we're still looking... Well, we're not looking good, but okay, that's fine. Okay, that goes on top. Do I want to try doing this? I guess so. Um, or do I want to try going after a province? I'm going to try going after a province. Which I guess I don't actually have. No, I do have enough. Whatever. Um, this is a really bad starting hand that I'm setting up. Maybe I go after the province and then I just like single? I mean, I can go after a province right here. No, nope, I missed. Um, well, maybe go one more time. Do I go one more time or do I just buy the single? Because then you double and I'm still in the same situation. And I'd kind of like to have a carriage down to start the turn. So let's just stop there. We'll grab the single province and see what happens. The real the real object here is gonna be to to not lose too much stuff. Well, the the real objection is gonna be to not lose a province. Uh myself. So if I lose a province myself, that's real bad news. <laughs> I mean that 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 would be what kills me, really. Um, and I mean that's that's also what you're going to be going after is you're going to rake through the deck a bunch probably will get a province out of it, just given, like, you know, 16 cards has two provinces, and you're going to look at 10 of them, um, if you want. Or I guess 8, where you'd actually be able to steal it, but even then, stealing's still a real positive for you, because that's one rogue play that isn't looking through your deck. Um... So, yeah. 
I didn't flip the rogue last turn, right? So I don't like have to feel bad about yeah, okay. I don't I don't feel bad about not having gone after the gone after the thing. Uh, whatever the thing is. Okay, yeah. So so we're gonna break through the deck looking for provinces. Unsuccessfully. Woo! Oh, there's some miracle provinces in there. Um, not that it's exactly putting me in the most amazing position otherwise, just because, like, I've seen so much stuff that I want pass by. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, you could probably still s relatively safely ball for two provinces. Um, well, maybe not. Do you even feel comfortable taking one province? Well, you can't take one province because then my double just beats you. And if you take zero provinces, then I still probably double and hope for the best? No, because that can be a flip. So that means I think I'm still going after your provinces this turn, no matter what. Um... Let's see, I can get a shuffle triggered uh, with a second seer play, probably. Well, let's hope so. Uh, just acknowledging that there are two provinces in there that my warehouses need to get through, which I mean, there's, there's enough warehouses, but... Um, let's see... I still think your best move is probably double province and hope that I don't hit one. Although that may be not the most likely hope. If you double duchy... Well... So maybe you were just going to double duchy. That's my new, that's my new take on it, is that you just double dachi. Probably. I mean, the thing is, with double dutching, like, if I rake through and I grab a province from you, I'm probably still looking okay at... Oh, wow, that is so kind. Okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna do this this way. Um, uh, do I lose a rogue out of here? I guess so. Like, there's there's a seer in there, right? I guess the other thing is that I actually probably can draw through this stuff uh, with a carriage down. So, like, if I discard this... Put those down. Two of these to get through it all. Okay. Um, I do need another highway play, right? Like, I need two more highway plays to be able to double province. So that is limiting my rogue, but we just have to do it. Let's see some provinces. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to ball for two provinces and hope for the best. My deck can't take much more of this. I stole one. I'm looking at two in hand, so maybe you'll get to steal two, and I'm just going to have to deal with whatever happens, because, you know, I think the last carriage I probably shouldn't have played, or I shouldn't have used, rather.
Oh, you had to use a carriage on a bazaar, so that's pointing like things didn't quite work out as perfectly as they might have wanted, or you might have wanted. I should have kept the last carriage on the mat. That that last one was a little bit over impulsive. Um, okay, one province gone. That's fine. It's the second one that we're worried about. And there's still one more rogue play. Yeah. So now you can tie, and I'm sure that you take the tie. You totally take this tie. Like, there's, there's no way that you... Oh, you have a barbarian still. Well, that could be really bad. No, that's actually like... No, the barbarian just wins you the game. The barbarian's going to give me a curse. Oh, it trashes a province. Even worse. All right. <laughs> All right, so you just had this no matter what after the one. I think it was still my best move to, to do that, but... Eh. Crap happens. <laughs> All right, on to a last game. I could have won at the end. I did end up losing at the end. I knew it was a possibility. Not a big deal. Okay, what is going on here? Here is going on Siren, mostly, right? Like, that's... You need Siren because the primary draw other than Siren is Magnate, and you need the duration draw for it. Um, I'm going to open Native Village Horse Traders, I guess. Uh, we'll try to get a Siren off the Native Village, and we'll try to get a Pickaxe off the Horse Traders, probably, is how it's going to go. Um, and see what happens. Uh, there's Wolf Den, which is going to be really freaking annoying with the loots. Um, I think you still really have to do them just because they are like plus buy. Um, Horse Traders is also plus buy, and like you can sculpt things, but uh, I guess you can sculpt jeweled eggs. But, again, I feel like you probably will want one or two loots. Um, yeah. Native Village... I don't like Conclave. Like, I really don't like Conclave there. I think, I think Horse Traders is actually just, like, better. Maybe I'm wrong. This'll be Conclave for me. Mostly we want sirens. Uh, do I just take the siren here? Yeah, I do. Ugh. Not finding... Um, not finding Siren there was the bleh. by the way. Just just gonna just gonna say. Um I'm gonna grab another conclave right here. Next turn will look better. Whoops, that was not what I meant to do. We need the second siren. Well, we need lots of things. Uh, I guess we'll look at what's happening here and determine whether I think I'm going to be able to... Okay, I'm grabbing the second siren right here. Next turn is hitting five. For sure. And then I'm going to take a pickaxe, I guess. Enlarging to native village isn't so bad. I think I really do prefer the pickaxe method, though. Here. Um, just as the first thing. I don't, like... I guess I do have a lot of village, so maybe enlarge is alright. 
I don't know. Like, it needs to be one of these things that trashes. I think it should be pickaxe. Like, enlarging coppers into native villages doesn't actually sound that appealing. I'd rather just do it with sculptor most of the time. Please don't see siren. <sighs> Alright, I mean, I'm, I'm lost. Um, I'm gonna keep setting things aside. I am so utterly lost. There is nothing to do here that will make things better. And then you get spell scroll of all things. Like, that's so good, you just grab a sculptor with it, right? <laughs> That's like the, the ideal thing that you would get. It could also be in another enlarge. Like you don't actually particularly want the loots, right? So spell scroll is fantastic. I don't get to actually play um, Siren every turn, so that's bad. Uh, and you apparently do, so that's also really bad. Um, and because like next turn you'll have another Siren that's just over. I don't think there was really anything that I did that made it go this way. Whoops. That needs to be a siren play. Um, the hope is going to be to get to the back to the siren, but at this point it's like I'm not drawing anyways, so... Uh, I mean, you, you, you hit siren 5 on the first shuffle, yeah. If you don't collide your two action cards things go a whole lot better. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm done here. <sighs> don't collide your two action cards, or actually just don't have them miss. That's, that's I guess, most of it. Um, whatever. Uh, that last game was just, like, devastating draws. The one before, I had a good shot at it at the end, and I don't know. Whatever, 3-3's three, fine, and I'll uh, see you all.